Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from Shorts Brewery. They're, this is their Huma Lupa Licious India Pale Ale. A complex malt and hop theme park in your mouth. That's what it says right here on the label. Uh, they're out of Elk Rapids, Michigan. This is one of the beers that James sent me uh, in the beer mail package. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. This uh, I'm a hop head, and uh, this beer is actually named, let me read what it says here. Uh, named after the hop flower Humulus lupus, this India Pale Ale style has enormous amounts of hop bitterness, flavor, and aroma. With a very complex malt bill, flavors seem to meld with the hops to balance this ale and provide a ridiculous urge to sample more. It says 140 IBUs on this one, so fairly bitter beer, so if you're not a hop head, this is not a beer for you. Uh, the food prank of this queen, queen, the cuisine would be curried, the Thai, the cheeses of peppery, moderate, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and limburger. And the meat for this is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, your IPAs, all your grilled meat, your burgers, chops, steaks, all that stuff goes good with your IPAs, guys. It does to me, anyway. Glassware is a pint, Becker Stein, mug, uh, about anything you want to pour it in, just pour it into something. And and, and I tell you y'all that every time that I read, just pour it into something. And the reason I tell you that is it releases the carbonation when you pour it into the glass. That's why you get the head and the foam. And that makes it easier to drink. And when it's easier to drink and you get the less filling, you're gonna drink more, it's gonna be you're not gonna get you're not gonna be burping as much. So bottom line it's gonna be more enjoyable. It's not gonna fill you up as fast. That's the bottom line on that guys. The the, uh, the beer is not recommended for extended salary. I have two different uh, ABVs on this. 6.90 from Beer Advocate or 6.80 from Rate Beer. And it does not have it here on the bottle anywhere. And there is no date, like I said, on the bottle. And that is critical as far as I'm concerned on an IPA. So we'll see where this goes. But I'm not, I'm not impressed that there's no date on the bottle. Now, like I said, it's just out of the fridge, uh, a bottle of condensation on the bottle. There may be some black digitized on the bottle, bottom somewhere, but there's nothing that I can tell on the label or on the bottle while it's got the condensation on it. So I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss, so let's get on with this and get the cap off of it. Get it in the glass and see if it lives up to the hype. I don't think this is bottle conditioned. I may be wrong. There is a lot of sediment in the bottom. It doesn't pour a very cloudy beer, though. It doesn't mean anything. It could have been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Tof uh, Topher James, if you know how long or how old this beer is, let me know. Uh, this, uh, this pours fairly clear. I mean, I can see the light right through it. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom on this one. It didn't pour a monster head on it. Looks pretty good in the glass, so it looks like a typical IPA. Doesn't look like it's bottle conditioned, though. I mean, it's not cloudy whatsoever. So let's get a nose on it. See if it smells like an IPA. Oh, yes, it does. It smells like an IPA. I'm getting a big hop presence on this one. A little grapefruit, a little pininess. I'm not saying it's a big West Coast smell, but there is some characteristics of that. Smells really good in the glass. I'm getting I'm getting a big hop presence. I have read some remarks where people have said that it, uh, the hops presence it wasn't that great on this, but it's 140 IBUs. They've got to chuck some hops in there. So, guys, let's give it a taste. Cheers, Jay. Thanks again. Oh yeah. It tastes almost like a double, not alcohol-wise, but taste-wise. It's got a very strong hot presence. 
very nice. I like it. Yes, I like this a lot. This is definitely above average beer. If we could just get these guys to put dates on the bottles. God almighty, I don't understand why you make an IPA and don't put a date on it. That's incredible. I, I, it's insane to me as far as I'm concerned. This beer can sit on the shelf for years and years and somebody's going to buy it after it's not fresh. I mean, they're not going to buy that beer and they're going to think ill of the brewery and ill of the store that they bought it and, and just all kind of bad feelings. And, and can you blame them? Because these beers aren't cheap. I mean, uh, I don't know what this actual beer costs because it was sent to me, but most of these times, these hot bombs like this, there's almost 7% beer, that's not going to be cheap. It's going to be a 3 or 350 or even more for this bottle of beer. And if it's been sitting on a shelf for several years, that's going to leave a bad taste in everybody's mouth, guys. And you know what I mean. If you bought something that's out of date or old or something like that, stale, you know what I mean. Guys, I'm rambling. I'm running up on that soap box again. I do it all the time. Stick around. I'll be back. I'm going to have to have the, uh, the other look. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to let the other half step on this and uh, see if she thinks uh, it's as good as I do. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So stick around. We'll see where this one ends up. All right, guys. Got just a little bit of left in the glass here. This is a very nice beer. This is very enjoyable. Uh, nice grapefruity, piney, nice hot presence on this one. Uh, very good beer, guys. Uh, very pleasant. Final chug. Very delicious beer. If you're a hop head, you'll, you'll like this. If you can get this beer, this is, uh, they're out of, uh, they're out of Michigan. I don't have the, the thing on here. Let's see what it says. Elk, Elk Rapids, Michigan. If you can get the Schwartz Brew beer, Huma, Huma Lupa Licious. It's pretty tasty. James, that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that an eight. It's an A minus. It would be a nine if it had a date on the bottle, guys. That's what. That's the way it is. Uh, Rate beer has 97 overall and 96 in the style. So, pretty impressive marks there. And I would go up another notch if it had the damn date on the bottle. That's the only thing that I'm not happy with. And there is something digitized on the bottle of the bottle, which is horse hockey, as far as I'm concerned, guys. Got to be on the label if you want my attention. The uh, the beer advocate ratings are 91, so they're up in the 90s. So everybody's impressed with this beer. So guys, step up to the plate, put the date on the bottle label there so we can tell. It's a very minimum. Put it in yellow. If you got to digitize it, put it in yellow up on the neck where we can see it when it's wet, when it's dry, whatever. So uh, that's all I got to say about that, guys. Delicious beer. If you if you had it, give me some comments back on this one. If you've seen it and you're a hophead, you'd be a fool not to pick this one up. It was excellent. James, thanks again. It was awesome. Guys, come on back tomorrow. We're going to look at the bridge. See you then.